Alright guys, today we're making the Grenada Bug. This is the tail color, which is a pearly white with a lot of flake in it. It's a little chilly today, everything is cold, so I'm going to have to shoot fast here. There you go. Now, I'm going to make, I'm going to make four rounds of these tails, then I'll show them to you. Alright guys, it's very windy today, Day is Saturday. This video is going to be loaded tomorrow. Actually, it's late Saturday. It's 2.30, I've been doing some other things this morning. Now, uh, it's very windy. I'm saying that because you probably sound like a freight train or a train coming through behind me. It's the wind. It's that bad. It's gusting up to 25, as they say today, 20, 25. Uh, leaves are flying everywhere. I done cleaned the yard up a couple times and even had to pay the young man to clean it up for me earlier. This is the tail mold. Yeah, you do all that work cleaning the yard up. You hate to see all them leaves flying around, don't you? All right. Now, what I've got to do to each one of these molds... Okay, I'm trying to do it right here where y'all can see me. I take these, here's how I learned to do it the easiest way. I, this is the bottom of the mold, I put it down. I've studied these things. I know I, I watch guys on YouTube just grab them and put them in, and there might not be any difference in them, but I figure if I do it the same way all the time, and it looks like to me, this is the way it goes. I put the bottom down, just like it goes in the mold, just like this. And I grab them right here, but little ways, pull them off, put it in place, okay? Now, this is just vegetable oil, all right? Because we all have asked me that. And I use I use this in my gun a lot, okay? It's cheap. You can use the rubber worm oil. I see a lot of guys using it. It's very expensive. I have found that that's vegetable oil. It works just as good as anything. I'm just going to put a little bit right here so that it makes this stuff slide a little better. I oil my guns with it, my injector guns with it, or injectors, whatever you want to call them. I, I call them guns. <laughs> I... I order the, uh, I put that in them. I have, I've had no no issues because uh, you, you're just trying to make them uh, move a little easier. And when I clean them, this is 409. I, I open to take the end off the gun when I clean it. I squirt that in it, pump it out, we oil it, take it back off. I just pump it out in the trash can, wipe it off with the rag, and keep going. I've had no problem. We could use Windex. Windex will do it. I just use 409. I buy a gallon at a time. Go to go to Home Depot and buy a gallon at a time. Now I gotta put all these in all the molds like that. Yep, tail was ready. Now I try to make sure they're to the end. See how easy all to move when they got oil in them. Now I don't. I didn't put a bunch. Also, you know, so I put one drop and just rub it back and forth. That's all it takes. Just enough to get on this end where you can move them around a little bit. All right. All right, guys. It's like I was saying, I've been watching all these shows. I watched a lot of YouTube, and I've seen another guy the other day. He was using spray oil. So, hey, I'm not the only one. Guys, I've got so many leftovers. This is leftover Grenada Bug. That's the top. This is the belly. I store it in bags like this. Okay? And then I cut it up. Behind me, I've got enough bags probably to fill the wheel bar. Yeah. I've got them piled up on the table, under a table. I've got a three-gallon bucket back there full of stuff. You can't keep using brand new plastics all the time. It doesn't work. After all, what are you, you going to do with it all? you got to save what you use when you get done pouring. You save it. You cut it up. Put it back in the cup and you use it again. Uh, I do remelt colors. Like here's, here's, I've been shooting banana pepper. See? When you get done, you got some left over. You hold on to it and you use it again. All right? I go through a lot of plastics, y'all can imagine. So, hey, you you, you got you got to save everywhere you can. So I've cut this up. So to heat up faster, I'm going to heat it up. I've got to get both of these to about 340, 335 to 345 is what I like to shoot. they got to be within, within a, like 5 degrees difference. I'm going to get my molds in here and get them set up in the vise. And when I get these close to the same temperature, I'm going to cut you all back on. All right, guys. Both of them are 340. We're going to shoot it. It's been a little while. That takes a little bit. I like it at 340, 345. Even 350 when I'm shooting these tails. 
When you got tails like that, because you want it hot enough where it'll melt into those tails. Okay. That's hot. Got a piece on my hand. I need to knock off. Okay, we'll let those cool. We'll open those up. And we'll see what they look like. Y'all ready? Let's open my mold here. You never know. Bam. There's the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, if you get it hot enough, you can see it melts right into that tail. See, the plastic even goes on the back of it a little bit and goes down the tail. The brown does a little ways. All right. Grenada bug. Okay. Now, guys, I am going to open this mold right here, so I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to go on. I got some other stuff I need to do, though. This is, I'm finally getting where I can get back and do some stuff. I'm still being careful. Uh, some of y'all ask. <laughs> the video I loaded last Wednesday, some of y'all said, hey, you back out on the water or glad you're fishing. Did y'all notice I had carpet on the boat? That's right. For y'all guys have been watching. Yeah, I changed it to foam in August, right? That video is from 12-12-22. <laughs> yeah, I told you it was an old one. Go back. Woohoo! This is called the Fathead. This is the new one coming. I want to see what it looked like in Grenada Bug. Bam. This shoot's pretty good. Doesn't it? Okay. What do y'all think of that? So, just because I'm showing this to y'all doesn't mean I'm going to make this in the Grenada bug, okay? I shot some. Y'all know I do that. I, I do that a lot of times. I'll set a mold up here and shoot it. I make some baits in that color, and I'm going to fish with them and see what happens. But we know the, the Grenada bug is a good color, and it's great for dirty water. Would you use something that small in dirty water? It's an inch and a half. Great bait. But we'll see. Uh, I've got them in seven colors right now. This is meal time. I just finished making. Can y'all see that? There you go. That's meal time. Got a pearl belly, silver bullet back. Looks like a real minnow, doesn't it? That's coming. I've been bagging them at night now. Like I said, I've got seven colors in the flathead. I call it the fathead. It's fathead. Did I say flathead or fathead? Fathead. Make sure I say that right. And the mini LC shad, and the little. I don't have one here. The little. Uh, I call it the sub. The little one has the double tail. I call it the sub because it's got two little fins on the back, guys. It goes like this when you move it in the water. All right, guys. Y'all know the routine here, right? I'm checking my camera, guys. You got to watch it. I'll tell you. One through one th through 400, I start at 10. Because if, if, if I start at 1, it could give me the number 2. And only 2 and 1 could win. Right. That'd be only two numbers. Starting at 10, at least 10 numbers. There's 10 numbers that can win. Some of y'all have made comments for, no, nah, why'd you start at one? That's why. You can't go over the number. Okay? You got to be under the number. That's, that's, that separates the winners from losers on both sides of the number. One through 400, it's a random number draw. I do that on Wednesday nights. These videos load on Sundays. We do the draw on Wednesday after 5 o'clock. I got to edit that video. I got to send it to YouTube. That takes time. Okay? Um, I'll send that to YouTube. I'll comment to you that night or the first thing the next morning. I try to do it that night, guys. Sometimes it gets past me. And say, hey, you've won. Email me your address. Okay? If you haven't ordered from me in the last month, it's hard for me to find it. Email me your address, and I'll ship out to you. Everybody that has won has been shipped out to. Some of y'all getting your stuff going, wow, I love them. That's, that's what it's all about. Trying to give back. Y'all watch my channel, so I'm trying to give back to you. That's, that's what the giveaway is all about. Make sure you're a subscriber. If that little block underneath is black, you're not a subscriber. Okay? Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'm going to add one fishing clip to this video. One. I fished with Sam Thursday. The water was nasty. Okay? Our water here on our lake right now is mud. It's awful. It rained again last night. Poured down. And they're calling for, I told you earlier last week, they're calling for it to be cold all this week. Only in the 20s to low 30s, teens at night. So it ain't going to be no fishing this week, guys. Right now the wind is terrible. Y'all probably can hear it. So, it's not going to be any fishing this week. So, I'm going to put one clip on this video where I used a Grenada bug. I've done best with the Grenada bug. When you see the watercolor, you're going to understand why. Now, 
Sam was using creamy, okay? This is creamy. Here's the stems of creamy where I've been making it, okay? Uh, I'll show it to you since this, this is creamy. You can see the difference. Granite bugs are a different color yellow. This is looks like almost like coffee creamer, all right? Or coffee, that's why we call it creamy. Grenada bug has more yellowish to it, doesn't it? But anyway, those two colors were working. I had an orange head. I just took an orange head on there. We were trying different things. The fishing was tough. You'll see it in the video. I'm going to show you one clip from that video. This so you can see the color of the water, all right? And you understand why Grenada bug was working in that water color. That's all I'm going to do. Put your numbers down, but somebody's going to win. Appreciate everybody. Wednesday night, hey, we'll, we'll talk again. See you then, guys. Bam. What you got over there, Danny? Hey. Gracious. Finally got another one. Like I said, guys, we've cast out a lot of them. A lot of them pay no attention to you at all. And you get lucky every now and then, and one of them will hit you. This one came by him one time, nothing. Came by him the second time, he rolled up and grabbed it. Like, hey, that's mine right there. Put my name on that one. I'm still, th hey, I'm still throwing a grenade a bug. All right, guys, I got to, let me grab my pliers. Y'all just hold on a second. Fish wasn't hooked that bad. It was just that the uh, the bait got caught down on his lip right here, and I couldn't get the head of it out. There you go. That's a nice fish. <coughs> get us a good the camera's making him look smaller than what he really is. He's 11. <laughs> he's 11. No, he's about 11, 11 and 3 16 something like that.